I got a doorbell ring and it was the mailman delivering <clears throat> my new planner. This is for 2016 and I think I'm in love. All right, now, if you've been watching some of my previous videos, then you know that I've been seriously looking into a daily planner. Um, as a weekly planner, I'm just not quite getting enough space. Um, sometimes I'm very much not getting enough space. So I looked into the Day Designer and the Emily Lay Planner, but uh, neither of them quite had the layout I was looking for. And then I found this. This is the La Vie and Rose by Franklin Covey. <clears throat> and it is a daily planner and my favorite uh, pretties are roses and polka dots and it's got both it's got the uh, nice gold edgings on the front and back covers um, its coil is uh, an o-ring wire and it's actually it's well made it's not flimsy and bendy like um, a lot of them are on cheaper books so yeah, this is from uh, franklinplanner.com and then I just clicked on uh, planners and then I clicked on unique sized planners and then I then you click on this picture and there you go. So franklinplanner.com uh, and I'm going to just give you a quick tour of this because it's even more spectacular than uh, the few pictures that they show in the description that they give. So you see in the front cover, I like how the back cover has no company logos or writing on it, that's great. Um, there is a typo, you know, not misspelled word or anything, but it says January, December 2016 weekly planner. And this is not a weekly planner, it's a daily planner. So uh, that's probably just going to bug me a bit, even though it's not a big deal. So I'm probably just going to put a sticker or a strip of uh, pretty washi over that and then it'll be perfect. So opening it up, my first surprise, excuse my finger there. My first surprise is on the inside cover, we've got this nice pocket. I am so happy for that pocket. I was hoping that a pocket came in this on the website. It didn't say one way or the other. So yes, we got a pocket. And then you can also see how the gold edgings are attached. It's a real deal, high quality stuff. All right, and then beautiful title page. Uh, again, though, it says weekly planner. It's not a weekly planner. It's a daily planner. So ding put a sticker over that and it'll be perfect All right All right, so then we got 2015 2016 2017 this is a pretty good uh, Cardstock type page. So if you wanted to you could make this into a dashboard um, I'm probably just gonna use this and put on some post-its here, but I don't know. There is a page in the back to use for a dashboard too, possibly for grocery lists, which I'll show you soon. So, got your calendars here, and these monthly dividers, absolutely gorgeous. I love flowers and polka dots, and my third favorite is stripes, and this one's got them all. It's got the flowers, it's got the polka dots, it's got the stripes, and I love script writing, and it's written in script. So, um, it's like, it's like I and some other life joined Franklin Covey, designed this planner, then zapped back over here because it's just like totally amazing. And the tabs are all written in gold and yes they are laminated. So inside January here's the monthly view, gorgeous. The uh, ink um, throughout the planner is gold, very pretty. Alright so you got nice big squares to write your monthlies in and you got this nice lined note section. I love that it says notes and not goals and I like how it's um, lined and it's a whole bunch of lines. I write small and sometimes I write a lot so I really appreciate that. Alright and then another surprise the website mentions nothing about these next few pages here. A notes page. So right after the monthly view and each month you get a notes page and then right after that you get an index page so since we're looking at January 2016 this is a page of January 2016 index and then after that you get into the weekly pages so this is what a weekday page looks like and this is besides the prettiness this is the main reason I chose this as my daily planner as opposed to day designer or the simplified planner um, so you have the day and the date up here 
Uh, when there's a holiday, it has that there. I don't really care if it mentions holidays or not. That's not a big deal to me, but now you know if that's important to you. But also, you have this blank area, so you can write in, you know, anything there you want to, or leave it blank. Um, it's got this section, if nothing else, one, two, three. So it's your top three priorities. So these are the three things you must get done that day, even if you don't get anything else done. Then, happening today. And that's nice and blank, so if you're decorating, that's a good spot to put a sticker or to do a little picture. Or like me, you could just write it in, because I'm not very stickery. Alright, and then to-dos with check boxes. In my planners, I'm always writing to-dos, and I always have to draw little check boxes, and then I check them off as I do them. So, I love that. Down here, me time. Uh, I try to have what I call mommy hour uh, every afternoon. It's often mommy 45 minutes, but <laughs> but mommy hour, and that would be where if I feel like writing, I might write an article for my website, or I might work on a video. Right now, I'm supposed to be exercising, <laughs> but uh, or I could work on a video, um, <clears throat> or you know, all sorts of things. And excuse my cough, I'm over my cold, but uh, I still have a lingering cough in the mornings. Um, once I exercise, that clears it up for the day, so. Okay, so then the last section on the page, notes. So you got, if nothing else, happening today, to do, notes, and me time. All right, now the weekend pages is a, are a bit different, as it is in most day planners. Uh, this one you have two days on a page. So you got Saturday, happening today, and notes. And of course, Sunday happening today and notes. So I'll probably uh, just draw check boxes and write out to do's most of the time on notes, but uh, it might vary. I've got that freedom. So now the rest of the monthly view is just the daily pages. So now let's jump over to February. See a different divider. Uh, still sticking with like the polka dots and the flowers. This one's got one line stripe and it's going to stay with the uh, gold script writing. <clears throat> and again, in every month, you're going to have your pretty divider, your monthly view, your notes, your index, and then you get into your daily pages. So now let's flip through and I'll just show you the dividers. March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October. I like how it stays with the feminine pretty theme. Um, I don't do Halloween, Christmas, Easter, none of that. So it's nice that I don't have any annoying holiday themes. All right. November. December. All right. Now, if you're like me, you're always wondering, okay, what's in a planner after December? So let's take a look. It's pretty much about the end. Um, this is the last page for December. So after that, we got a notes page. I think it's just one notes page. Let's see here. Yeah, we got a notes page. Oh, one double-sided notes page. <clears throat> and then we have uh, this semi-glossy uh, cardstock blank page and then the back cover. So this uh, could be used as uh, a dashboard if you don't mind uh, having it actually in the back instead of the front. Um, so this might be a good spot to put on um, like a giant super sticky post-it note and have a running grocery list here uh, and then um, or here and then have some little post-its I know I use little post-its here and there where I need to write something quick and then take it off and stick it to a certain page um, <clears throat> for example if I have something prepared in the crock pot and sitting in the fridge overnight then the next morning on a post-it I'll have like something like the word food written on the post-it and then I'll just stick it to the top of that day's page so that when I look at it the next morning I'll see it and I'll go you know oh yeah I need to get the crock pot out of the fridge it's already filled up I just need to set it in its little holdy thingy and turn it on and 
let it start cooking all day. So handy stuff. So uh, yeah, I wish there was a dashboard in the front, but there is the awesome folder inside the front cover that kind of makes up for it. Um, and you can always use the title page here as a dashboard because it also is uh, a bit cardstock. So I might do that. I'm not going to cover this side up, but I might go ahead and just put a giant post-it super sticky that will take up about the whole page. And that way I can just keep a running grocery list here. And then I might just put a, a few post-its here on the front of the pocket folder. So we'll see. I have uh, months uh, to decide how I'm going to set this up because <clears throat> this is a 2016. Um, I'm still enjoying my Happy Planner. In fact, if you want to take a little stroll with me, not a whole lot has changed with my Happy Planner. Except that I did make my own covers. Um, I wanted a bit more of a mature cover. I felt like some of the covers were a bit 20-something uh, and I am far from being in my 20s. So I made some mature covers. I did fix the cover popping off problem that I mentioned in a previous video. <coughs> oh, excuse me, by uh, doubling the covers up. So this cover I made is attached to one of the covers that came with uh, the planner. Uh, and just having double thickness gives me a thicker, more sturdier cover, which I like. And uh, it's also double attached into the discs. So my covers, front and back, do not pop off anymore. Um, dashboard changed up a little bit, not much. So, and uh, yeah, other than that, Happy Planner is still the same. You know, we got my to-do section. You know, there's my list I'm going off of right now. Um, you know, and all that fun stuff. So, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'm going to finish out the Happy Planner for 2015. And then I'm probably going to uh, move on to uh, the Levian Rose uh, for 2016.